Alright guys, welcome back. Let's go ahead and clear the space. Call on our team of spirit, our monadics have to be with us. Call on the angels of our angels, find pure bright light, spirit, clear guides, divine holy realms. If you're new here, welcome in. I am so internally grateful for you being here and showing up for yourself on your journey. Um, this is going to be a twin flame reading. A twin flame reading for anybody on the twin flame journey, twin ray journey, divine soulmate. Um, however that looks for you guys, let's go ahead and clear the space. We're going to take a couple deep breaths in to center ourselves into the energy. Okay. Alright, so... Now, we're going to be discussing a little bit. Um, first of all, if you're not in physical union with your twin flame, I'll be getting some, just some messages, divine masculine, divine feminine messages at the end. We're going to go ahead and jump right in to take a look at this. If you don't know the difference between twin flame, twin ray, karmic, um, I don't think I've made a video on that, but I might. Um, karmic is somebody that you have lots of manipulations with. You manipulate them. To be with them, you um, uh, you could have manipulations revolving other people. Like you hide from your friend that you're with your ex, and it's not just oh, uh, what do you think about me uh, dating this person? They're like oh, okay, whatever, you know. It's it's uh, surrounded with manipulation, right? Um, in which case, some relationships seem like I have they have a fair bit of manipulation from either party. But it's, um, I'm not, I'm not saying some, but it seems like, um, certain relationships do, like, people say things and not hurt other people's feelings, or, um, you know, they have, like, three, three-way relationships where people, somebody's with somebody else and they cheat to be with somebody. I'm not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about actual, like, you manipulate to be with somebody because of money. That's a karmic pattern. I'm not saying you can't be with that person. That's a karmic person. I'm saying that's a karmic pattern, uh, a generational pattern, if you will, to end in your own life, right? Um, but if you have to go behind your, your friends to be with their ex, or um, it's all about uh, money, it, it's transactional, right? Uh, twin flame, is going to ignite your, if you, like, if you have any kind of spiritual gifts or any kind of creativity in you, um, it's going to cause that to come out even more so, right? They're going to challenge you to be a better version of yourself, no matter where you are on your journey, right? They're going to, they might help bring you to God, to Jesus, to a higher power. Um, And if you don't believe in that, they might, you know, encourage you to look in the different types of religions to decide if that's truly what you want and not just be okay with whatever it was that you were born uh, believing in, you know, and it doesn't mean I believe in the same thing, but God is the one who ordains twin flames. It's a divine union, divine, it's divine, right? So even if there's some kind of something in it, right, it's like you have to create the reality for you. Nobody's going to do that for you. So when you're in a uh, harmonious twin flame union, H-T-F-U, it's um, a perfect love, an eternal love that you have with yourself, and you create that in, right? You don't just wait for somebody to come along and give that to you. You ha It has to start from within. It has to start from within you. And this doesn't mean that you have to do this alone. It just means that you have to create that within yourself. You can't be codependent on another person. Uh, you know, like those people, when you see them one time, then they call you 800 times uh, afterwards. It's literally, you are comfortable whether or not you're in communication with this person. Or, because just because you're not in communication with them, if they're your true twin flame, you are energetically connected with them at all times. You can intuitively get hits about what they're doing at all times. If you want to, you can detach from that. Um, but... Um, it's all about, you know, creating that love story with spirit and with yourself, and that's how it manifests into your reality, right? So, as well as that, I remember I said it could spark your um, creative abilities, creative passions. You can do that within yourself as well, by the way. You don't have to, you know, go through the dark night of the soul. Whether 
it's how, however long it sits there for you, but you do, it's like your whole world. Sometimes people that are married get divorced. Um, sometimes people that are, um, you know, all this, all these kind of things, it literally shatters your expectations on what, um, what love is, what, you know, you're getting rid of all of the labels, right? Whether you are going to get married or not, whether you're going to have a child with them or not, um, it gets rid of all those other labels, all those things, right? I always say, go back to the zero point. The zero point is the God point, the God flame, the, uh, transcendental, uh, point of all or nothingness. Like you're, you get rid of all those things in your head that make your head whirl. It, it could be a whirlwind, but regardless if it's any kind of impossible standards or expectations or anything that, um, bring you into this, it's like pure positive energy. You can be all right just sitting there in a room doing nothing and just looking at each other like, mm, right? Because it's just, it's like home. There are no words, right? Okay, so let's see what else we have here because that <laughs> literally was no cards for you guys. But um, so... And it's also about loving yourself and not requiring perfection, right? You can't, nobody's perfect, right? But you can also take a, you know, you can't, nobody can stop you from creating that perfect life that you want for yourself, right? You, you engage in harmonious agreements, right? And this requires your awareness of yourself. Um, also, karmic relationships, sometimes they lie about things in their past. They lie about things, you know, and when you're on the journey with 717 on the clock, when you're on like a 20 flame journey, you can't do that. You can't because the other one's going to know. If they don't know for sure, they're going to have an inkling of it. You know what I mean? Like you are a bare, raw, almost like naked without even being naked, right? And that's what it is. And you're, and you're walking through life. And then it's like... What is hurt is you think you, like, you, energetically, you're connected. Now, if you have, like, people in your life that want to bring you down or want to try to do stuff backhanded to you and not just be there for you, right, you create that, that, um, boiling point with them. What? Okay, so you, you automatically, I don't know where that came from, but you, you, automatically just kind of surge them out of your life because um you know um you know the song i'm on right now is i see angels when i make sweet love to you so literally it's like you're you're in that divine connection you are if you're not with them you're making love to yourself kind of like i was talking to a guy earlier today about like um it's kind of funny because <laughs> it's kind of personal but it's kind of funny like you we were talking about i don't even know what brought it up okay but um he had responded to something that i posted about um tantra tantra what is that you know what is that to you that is like you're mingling with spirit right you're having a love story with god and i said something and he wanted to know how to do it i did it right how do you have an orgasm like a soulgasm without any kind of touch any kind of stimulation right and i was trying to explain that to him and that's kind of the same thing as it. it's like that um because the way of tantra is literally just embracing everything uh the beauty in the sky the beauty in, you know the all around beauty um 903 on this so um sorry okay so it's about commanding your life with personal power, but stripping away anything that isn't provoking awareness or provoking your personal power or your your power to speak up, right? It all exists within you. Anybody can do it, right? Um, but you're nurturing that power and you're encouraging that power with me. Kind of like, you know, if you're into um, meditation, Reiki, healing, breathing modalities, when you do that to yourself, it's like, goodness me, that's me, right? That's, you get that within your own self. You don't have to go to some external source, right? And that's what it is. It, it's, uh, 
and that's the harmony, the love, the union. And then we have, I accept my uniqueness on the back. It says, there is no competition and no comparison, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. Okay, so again, back to loving yourself, creating that harmonious union within yourself. What, right? The last thing. Okay, and then we have here. I express my creativity. My unique and creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. Okay, so Spirit's saying you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Okay, what else for the life path oracle? Life purpose. Life purpose? Yeah. Dory Mercer. I love Dory Mercer's cards, as you can tell. <laughs> but we have family. Loving your friends and family is uh, the central of your life purpose. So if you're, if you're not in physical union, create something within your family that you can do. You're on the right path. Understanding as you go to understand and create a life of love and, and romance now within yourself. You know, working it on the spiritual level, working on the physical level. Now, when I mean work, when I say work, I don't mean physical work. I mean um, working on yourself because we all are a worker's prize. It's not like you just do something one time and then it's bing, bang, boom, it's done, right? So there's a um, pond of information to get um, anything that you need to understand for, to understand about, right? Okay, what else do we got here? Unconditional love. Unconditional love, right? Unconditional love. Okay. Now, do you feel anyone in your life holds power over you? Okay. These are past life, um, past life oracle cards. We have mother and spouse. So there could be past life lessons or even this life lessons because we had family, we have mother, we have spouse. Create, um, Competing with you on your journey, or like, um, that is, uh, your mother, that you have could have been a karma from past life, right? And they, and honestly, all this looks is they are on the same two coming between you and your union, right? And not saying they meant and they will, but sometimes they say that spiritually that's what happens when it's like that. Now, if you but they could even see you because you're on the right path spouse this person could see you as their spouse right this person could see you as your spouse even if you're not with them they could see you as your spouse or as your mother either way take it as it was me either way it's not it's nothing bad it's nothing good i mean um, I always say when you love somebody, it's like they're your brother or your sister, you know, like you, you love them as they're part of your family. They're, that's why it, it's so easy. Like when one of my friends just come to town and they want to stay here, you know, it, it's a comfortable feeling, right? It's not like, oh no, da -da -da -da. It's, it's literally, oh, okay. You know, sister, sister, such and such, you know what I mean? It's, that's love. That's how you love. Or um, one of my kids' cousins was threatened, you know, uh, offer her to a place to stay if she needs, right? That's not, it's not uncomfortable. It's love. That's how love is, right? So um, any kind of relationship arguments that don't support you in what you're doing or what, how does your love life look? You can even lay down, sit down and make a list on what kind of love you want to have. What kind of marriage do you want to have? What are you bringing in? How are you um, in relationships? Do you feel any resistance to that? How are you parenting? Do you feel any resistance towards how you want? You know, surrendering to the process, but also recognizing that you are 100% worthy of creating this for yourself, right? As we have empowerment here, the next thing coming out is when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness, magnificence, unfolding your true and radiant self. Okay, so, and that's part of that thing is you, you're asking the divine what you want, but also you're letting them take over for the end, the end result of it, right? Okay, then we have relationship. Oh, that's so cute. We had 
right path, spouse, mother, relationship. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in such a perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Oh my gosh, how that just rolls into one and just perfectly goes in. So that that's kind of like um, the exercise there. Allowing spirit to lead you. Allow the universe to lead you because the universe has your back. If you're a true twin flame, the universe has your back. You know, if you have a divine soulmate, the universe has your back in getting to this. You know what I mean? If you're breaking karmic patterns, you're breaking manipulative powers, pra uh, patterns, or you're breaking addictions, you're breaking cycles in your life, um, and creating that divine love within, divine love without, you know, that's your personal choice. If you have come to terms with your past and been honest about it, not just pushing it away and saying it's something that it wasn't, you know, acting like, uh, something else, somebody else, somebody that you wanted to be, but it is just who it was, right? Was this what it was? Okay. So, and that's not to say if you have any karmic patterns or karmic processes that you've had within your twin flame unit, reunion or whatever, that's not to say that those can't end and bring you together with that person. That's not what I'm saying at all. You have that choice. You have on how you want to act, who you want to be with, right? The divine just uh, provides you with the person when you pray for them or when, you know, it, it's happened like that, right? Like, kind of like that song, Sent From Heaven. Our message is, this is Hidden Truth Oracle. I said at the end, I'd get Hidden Truth Oracle and Divine Mass and Divine Feminine messages real quick for you guys. I got, I love you unconditionally. Just being near you is un intoxicating. Oh. Just being near you is intoxicating. I love you unconditionally. Just being near you is intoxicating. I feel you even though we're apart. And on the bottom of the deck we have, I wish things were different. Okay. So. This is. Hmm. Um, this is messages from your divine masculine, unsent messages from divine masculine, real quick, just get like, I don't know, two, what do we got here, I'm head over heels, what did you do to me, so somebody could think you put a love spell on, or not understand, I walked away because I'm, I do not want to burden you with my problems, I love you too much, okay, bottom of the deck, it's not my thing to be stuck on one girl, you got stuck in my head. Fuck. Oh. No, This is unsent messages from Divine Feminine. Yes. Oops. Okay. Oh. Okay. We got. You don't need my permission to love me. You drive me crazy. I'm tired of it. And I'm putting myself first. All three of those came out. And then on the bottom of the deck, he said... <sighs> I'm still hopeful I will see you again. Aw, that's so cute. Okay, so for whoever those messages are for, I wish you well on your journey. I hope everything works out. Again, this is just kind of a, uh, a phase, you know, in getting to that love because the mass message that I pulled out for the collective was kind of about calling in bliss and calling in stuff. So I figured we go into a little bit more detail. And I'll keep doing that um, off and on, you know, as it goes by. Because in the at the end of the day, Twin Flames are meant to be together. And for as many, you know, that we get together in the world, I think that that would just raise the vibration of love and the frequency of love for everybody. Anyways, I wish you guys the best. I love you all. If you have absolutely beautiful. And we'll see you later.